Okay, uh, this is an example I put together uh, using several different pieces of N Audio code and uh, the Google Speech API uh, from the Google um, Speech API example. Uh, I uh, that code example was a little too hard for me to follow. The one that they put in place, and this this one is much more uh, seamless. Uh, basically, this is a WinForm application that allows you to record your voice, uh, and then it saves that recording to disk, uh, and then it will take that recording and send it to the Google Cloud uh, Speech API and if you get something back it will show up in this text box. I'm using Visual Studio Community Edition 2015. Uh, it was a uh, free download. Uh, this demo is uh, on 4.25.17. That's the date so obviously everything can change uh, from when you're uh, looking at this uh, uh, YouTube. Uh, I put this thing together uh, because I basically uh, was having a hard time trying to. Uh, I, I put this YouTube together because I was having a hard time finding examples. I'm a C sharp guy. I have a bunch of code that I'm going to be using this with that's also in C sharp. Uh, so uh, not much of a Python guy right now. And I need to get some stuff done uh, anyway. So uh, essentially, uh, we'll go through the demo. You can see it work. And then go a little through uh, on the installation and uh, a little bit of a code walkthrough. Uh, I don't know how many pieces of this video I'm going to, uh, this project I'm going to slice up. Probably going to be 10 minute sections. Uh, but anyway, here we go. So uh, we will start it. Uh, you have your little one form that comes up. You have the record button. And nothing happens until you do that. So uh, you're going to hear me talk like right now. Then I'm going to record something. It's going to play back. And then we're going to send it off to Google to get uh, converted. So here we go. Testing one, two, three. Have a great day. Testing one, two, three. Have a great day. Okay, now uh, we're not recording anymore. Whenever I hit this button is when the raw audio that has been saved to disk uh, gets uh, sent off to the Google API. So here we go. Takes a couple seconds. There you go. Okay, so how did all this work? Um, I'm not going to go into detail about how to get the Google APIs turned on, uh, setting up your Google account, uh, things of that nature, unless uh, people show interest in this video. And then I can go into a little bit uh, more detail on that. All of what uh, to do is on the Google uh, you know, Cloud SDK website. Uh, you should be able to uh, search for that. Uh, sorry if there aren't any links uh, for right now. Uh, this uh, For this demo, I put together a WinForm. Obviously, there's some buttons on here. There's this play audio button, which I use for debug purposes. Uh, but before you can call any Google APIs, uh, you have to uh, install the uh, uh, not only the Google SDK on your particular development machine and run a G Cloud command 
that does some more updates and does some initialization with Google. You have to do all of that. That's another, you know, video. Once that's been done, then you go into uh, your Visual Studio and create your WinForm. I'm going to have this code on GitHub so you can pull it down and get something working real quick. Okay, so the first thing you got to do is uh, the example on Google uses in audio to uh, uh, play back a file that was previously recorded in a certain format. That is what their demo uh, on their uh, site uh, shows you how to do. Uh, it was a console application, a uh, lot of link uh, and lambda calls, little, little too much over my head for something very simple that I wanted to do, which is to just record audio, send it, and then receive it. So I guess this would be the synchronous uh, API call uh, that we're going to do, uh, not the asynchronous. But first things first, making sure you can make the API calls. That would be helpful. That's where we're at right now. So in uh, audio, uh, you, you go to your project. You go to the uh, NuGet solution. Uh, 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 package for, uh, manager, sorry, this is kind of new to me. You can see N Audio right there. Uh, to find this page, you go to Tools and then NuGet Manager. Uh, it's really cool. I can, I really dig it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that was going to install N Audio in your WinForm C Sharp project. The other thing you have to do, and I didn't try to do with the uh, search, is uh, this uh, NuGet command right here. And this is uh, buried uh, deep in the Google API example. Uh, and this is what you have to type in on the uh, package manager console, which I just showed you how to get to. <clears throat> Once you run this, it uh, obviously hooks up the references to your project, but you still have to go in and put, use your, uh, put your usings in. Okay, once you do that, uh, the first half of the application is, or first part is just, hey, we're going to capture some audio and we're going to do it in such a way uh, that uh, it's event driven and we don't want to crash uh, anything while that's happening. So uh, some of this code was ripped from uh, Stack uh, Overflow, obviously not the whole thing uh, using the buffered weight provider. A lot of examples had to do with web pages and I wasn't doing that. Uh, the Also uh, I was doing using the writer uh, to write out uh, the buffer once it was uh, captured and then I needed a reader to read it back in. Audio Raw uh, is the uh, name we're using for the file. So this all will all be on GitHub uh, and you can download it and you know go crazy over it. So basically what we're doing is we're hooking up uh, the uh, wave in uh, so we can do uh, buffered input uh, on the audio that seems to work real well that's I uh, used one of those examples here's the wave format okay and then some very simple uh, buttons enable uh, disable what we're doing okay so this is the event handler we're adding the samples and uh, pretty straightforward on that. That's going to get called continuously. Since we're using buttons, we're kind of, uh, I guess, thread safe. Uh, I think we're pretty much thread safe regardless. But uh, so while you're talking, this uh, 
buffer is going to get added up with audio samples. Uh, and uh, here is the record button. So we basically check to see if our device uh, count uh, is there so we can record audio uh, and probably need to have a, a message box here. We start recording uh, and then uh, we set the button state. So half of this app is just recording and saving the recording and then playing back uh, uh, audio using in audio APIs. All right, button save. Uh, we stop recording. Uh, we kill the audio file if it exists. Not sure if I needed that, but I just did it. Okay, we need to take what's in the buffer, uh, in the uh, audio buffer, and write it to disk. And this is what we're doing right here, is we're creating the writer. Uh, we'll go ahead and set our button states. And then this code seems to work. And uh, you have to call this read. Again, this is an audio code. Not an expert at it. But this is what I wanted this demo to do. I didn't want it to be a bunch of command line apps that you had to run. I wanted it to be... A simple little win form. So we write all the data out, close everything, and then what we want to do is is we want to uh, play back that audio just just to make sure that uh, what we recorded is what we want to send to Google. So we knit the wave out, uh, we play it. Uh, this probably needs to be someplace else, but it seems to work. So um, while you're playing, I'll put that up here. While you're playing, we want the event handler uh, to get fired when uh, the playback stops. Okay, that's when we stop the wave out, close the reader, and, and null it. Okay, so this is what everybody's super interested in. And this is basically a, uh, a direct, almost direct copy from Google's example. Uh, other than me checking to see if the audio file exists, you just create your client, uh, you go ahead and you're going to be reading it, the audio from a file. Again, we're doing synchronous for right now. This is just a prototype to get all, all the APIs turned on and know that they work. Okay, so uh, it does a, a recognize. Uh, I have a text box that I clean out. And uh, we basically go through these results, and I add them to the text box. If nothing happens, you get this. If no audio file, you get that. So this is very simple. Uh, we're testing to make sure all the workflow, all the authentication with Google Cloud APIs works. And this is uh, in a win form, uh, and we got to have code that gets our audio first, save it to disk, then we send it off. This is the, the way to do it, or the way I did it, just to test it in the, the synchronous mode. Anyway, uh, that's uh, all I have for right now. I'm going to be posting this. Uh, YouTube, and I'm also going to be posting uh, the GitHub code, and we'll see if any of you guys are interested, uh, and give me feedback, and subscribe, and send me lots of money. Anyway, I hope it works for you. Thanks a lot.